Here we have a Dell Alienware laptop that came in for a damaged LVDS connector. I fixed one of those just last week. And we have another one to fix. Let's take a look and see what's going on. We see missing pads here on the right and left side. And possibly something going on here. Let's go over the pins quick. The pins appear to be making a good connection. All of them are solid, but I do not know what's going on right in the middle. It looks like the pin is solid, even though it's discolored, but it's solid. So if all the pins are solid, the connector should work. The customer mailed over the motherboard only and not the whole laptop. So we're not going to be able to test, but as long as all the pins are making a good connection, like they are right now, then there's no reason why the LCD would not work. Let's take a look inside the connector. We have two missing pins right here. You see, we have two missing pins right over here. That's the reason why the customer mailed over the motherboard because we have two broken connectors or two broken pins from inside the connector. Let's go ahead and desolder the connector and we're going to solder on a new connector and try to make it better than factory. The question is, how are we going to remove this connector? Can we heat up from back of the board? And the answer is no, because we have a plastic connector on the back. If we heat up from the back, we're going to end up burning this connector. So the only way to remove this connector right now is to apply low melt solder. Low melt solder will mix with unleaded solder that's already on the board and it will lower the melting temperature to a point where we may just be able to remove this connector without any hot air. Let's go ahead and do it. You can buy low melt solder from our website. Just log in to northfishfix.com, click on shop and low melt solder comes in a tube like this with six sticks. They will last you a very long time because a little bit of low melt solder goes a long way. We applied flux and I'm using 559 flux. You can also buy that off our site. You can buy all the tools that you need from our site. Hot air station, soldering station, thermal camera, original Amtec 559 flux or Amtec 213 flux, tweezers, solder wick, whatever you need, you can buy off our site. Just add to cart, check out. And almost always, we ship out your orders same day. We need to have our fume extractor on, of course. You do not want to be breathing those fumes. And that's it for low melt. I just applied a tiny bit on the tip, and we're going to spread that solder throughout the pins. Now look at this. We did not have to use hot air and we were able to get rid of the connector in a few seconds. Thank you very much, Low Melt. You're the best. The power of Low Melt solder. I always mention it. Let's get rid of the glare. Awesome. Such an amazing light. We have a small tiny problem right here, but that's okay. Probably that's the pin that was discolored from the beginning. But we're going to have to look at the video and see. I 
Awesome. Awesome. Now, whatever pad we have left here in the middle, that should be enough because the pin will overlap that pad and it will make a good connection. We just have to make sure that this pin is not touching the neighboring pads, not pins, pads. Let's grab a connector. And I have one right over here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of ring light so we can see the pins because right now the pins are hidden by the shadow because this component is a little bit tall and that's when we use a combination of the ring light and anti-glare light just like that we have very minimal glare and we can see everything on that connector because I had that question before when should I use the ring light when should I use the anti-glare light and when do I use a combination of both? That's the scenario where you would use a combination of both. Because right now, if we do not have the ring light, we can see the connector, but we cannot see the pins because the component itself has some height to it. So the pins are hidden by the shadow of this plastic. And I just moved the connector just because of you. Align it. And if you recall, the last time we soldered this connector, we used our NF.mini pen, soldering pen. We're going to be doing the same thing here. Use our NF.mini pen because of the microscopic tip. Now I'm going to push down on that connector with my finger and let's solder the first pin on the right. Just like that. Okay, the NF dot mini pen is amazing. I'm going to push down on the connector from here. And maybe we can solder the far end of the connector. Just like that. And why don't we zoom in instead of being so far? Just look at how solder sticks onto the tip. That's one high quality tip. Those tips are supplied with the NF dot mini pen, the knife tip, the bend tip, and the straight conical tip. Let's add some flux. We need more flux because flux is your friend. And just look at that soldering. The NF dot mini pen is worth its weight in diamonds. It's absolutely amazing. And we're gonna add more solder.
So bottom, top, bottom. Bottom, top, bottom. And let's do the same thing here. Now, it depends on the far left, they are all connecting with one big pad. So it takes more heat transfer in order to solder those pins. Let's use the big tip for the far pins. And now we're going to use our needle probe just to make sure all the pins are solid. And we're going to test the pins one by one, make sure everything is solid, 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 solid. You know what? Let's clean up first. Now we're going to clean up and then we're going to go over the pins one by one, make sure everything is solid. If yes, then the job is done. And all we have to do is apply glue on the far end here and apply glue right here. Solid, solid, I'm not going to say solid for every pin, but if there's a pin that's not solid, you'll see it and I will mention it. Solid so far. And look at this pin, it's making a solid connection with the broken pad under it, the pad that's half broken. Look at this, every single pin is making a connection. Every single pin is making a connection, amazing. The power of the NF.mini pen, wow. If you do not have an NF.mini pen yet, just log into our site, northridgefix.com, click on shop, add to cart, check out, and most likely, package will ship out same day we usually ship within one business day if we receive your order at night or maybe by noon time package will most likely ship out same day but if we get your order by evening time then the post office already picked up UPS already picked up usually UPS picks up around five o'clock FedEx picks up around three o'clock and the post office between 12 to two o'clock If the package does not ship out same day, it goes out the following day. We're done. We got a customer that came in today and he bought a thermal camera and other stuff. And he said, I could have bought those tools from somewhere else, but I buy them from you because I learned so much from your videos. And practically the tools I'm buying are free because you taught me everything for free. I mean, I really appreciate that mentality. There are some people who watch and learn from our videos and they end up buying from somewhere else. We have a very loyal customer base and we do not look at those 10% who may just want to benefit, but they do not want to give back. So now what we're going to do is an ear swab, we're going to cut it at an angle to make a sharp edge. And we're going to use a tiny bit of glue. And we're going to apply it right over right over here.
and we're done. Now the glue will take a couple of hours to completely heal. We're gonna invoice and mail this motherboard back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.